Good evening, my shipping enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome to the rabbit hole with Cal Shave. Tonight we're going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to edit this in one-to-one -one ratio. I'm going to post this on IGTV, which I figure out how the hell to do it, as well as my YouTube channel. So, what we're going to do tonight is from the Urbane Shave Company, Derek Enns. This is a razor I recently got from him. Comes on a nice padded box. Four inch handle, I believe it's 3.7 ounces. He's got his name in there. Now I did use this last week. I found it quite mild uh, with a huge wash card. So I've done something I don't normally do and I put a feather in there and we'll see how that works on it. Now I've also got, he sells these. This is the Beehive, is the name of the company that makes these out of Canada. Uh, boar hair. Again, a little bit of a higher loft than I kind of prefer, but we'll give it a try. And he sells these great stands. So, put that in there. And we'll put that in that. All goes like that. Now, what we're going to be using, and my buddy Lyle Navarre, this has to say, we also recently did a review on this, is the 13th Man. Now, I, quite obviously, am not a sports enthusiast, but this has to do with the Ottawa Rough Riders. The 13th man being the crowd is considered a team member. Um, they wear watermelons on their heads. And I'll give an explanation about that in another clip. So the scents on this are uh, watermelon, lime, and vanilla. These are created for Derek Ann's by Linda Janes of Purely Skinful. This is a vegan soap. You can see I've used it once, and I just recently sampled out to one of my buddies on Canadian Wet Shavers on Facebook. Matching aftershave balm. And what I've also been doing lately, including the beard blanket. I love this thing. I showered several hours ago, so what it's going to do is I'm going to soak it in hot water. I'm going to apply it. It's like a hot towel shave. It's got Velcro on the back. That is going to open up my pores, soften up my whiskers, ready my skin, so when I run over it with a feather. So, we are going to, now what I've been doing is, I put on the beard blanket, and while that's on there for a minute, two minutes, whatever it takes, that's when I do it with my lather. So, we are going to get this ready to go, grab our crystal skull. This video is going to be kind of a quiet one and expedited because I believe for IGTV that's been under 10 minutes. Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl, love this thing. Uh, Jared's wife makes these, friggin' awesome, love it. So, what I'm gonna do is, because I forgot to do it, is I'm gonna pre-soak this, give it a few minutes and I'm gonna come right back. Natural hairs, you pre-soak them, they absorb the water, and this one is shedding a little bit, it's new, broken a little tiny bit. And anyway, we'll do that and then we'll come back We'll get our beard blanket going, um, we'll get our lather built up, and we'll get our shave on uh, without probably too much discussion. So, stick around. Be great, guys. We're back. Time lapse photography. This has been soaking in there for two or three minutes. You see, just a quick shave. I'm headed out trucking again tomorrow. So, uh, by the way, Ken Surfs uses these. He's the reason I have one. I happen to find it on Amazon. Friggin' love it. It is heavy. You do not want to drop it on your foot or have your significant other throw it at you. Because it will leave a big mark. So, anyway. Oh, I got a sink full of fairly hot water. And now I have a sideboard full of hot water. So, what I'm going to do is I will put this on. So, wring it out, not super tight. Just get the excess water of it. We're going to start building up our lather, and we're going to apply, and like I said, a lot of this video is probably going to be in fast forward, or, you know, quad speed or whatever, so let's get this going. Hey guys, it's Derek here with Urbane Shave Co. Today in Ken's video, he's going to be using our 13th Man set. Uh, when I came up with this set, I wanted something that was a fun summer scent. Uh, but something that wasn't just, say, like a lime or a grapefruit without any story behind it. I wanted something that had some meaning to me and something that uh, I could really get behind. So I chose this set because I'm a, a diehard Saskatchewan Rough Riders fan. 
Um, I grew up in Saskatchewan, and I've just always loved their team. Uh, now, the 13th man has both a good and bad connotation to it. Um, typically, it's always been considered a good thing because uh, there's 12 players um, on the field, but the 13th player, the 13th man, is the fan base. And the fans are really loud and full of energy, so um, they often cause a big distraction to the other team uh, just with the loud noise. So the main reason why I chose uh, Watermelon for the 13th man set was to do with the fact that Rough Riders fans wear watermelons on their heads. My Rough Rider craziness, I've carved out watermelon and wore it on my head and it's a, a cheap option for a, something that resembles a helmet and it works. And it's green for the Rough Riders. Oh, well, go Riders, go. That's very close. It's not BBS, it's not baby butt smooth. I'm not gonna bother doing a cleanup. There's no need. But it's definitely a DFS, definitely a damn fine shave. I prefer razors a little bit more aggressive than this. I don't shave every day, so my preference is for something a little bit more aggressive than this. But if I was a daily shaver, this would be perfect. Use the uh, beard blanket. Gonna run that under cold water. So don't give her a real tight ring out, just get the excess water out. This is neoprene. Now what I do is I leave it on for a minute or so. And it also gives me a chance to clean up my gear, you know, my brush, my razors, my uh, my lather bolt, all that stuff. So we'll put this on. Now there's also spots on here for your razor and your brush. So we'll get this geared up. Which way it goes up? And we'll do our cleanup. And now it's been on there, so. Talk about those little wipers. We're gonna go straight to the aftershave bomb. I do get more watermelon out of the bomb than I do the soap. But it's a nice refreshing scent. It's not candy-ish at all. So let that absorb in a bit. So guys, what it was about tonight, a rush through shave. Derek Enns, Urban Shave Company from Canada. 13th man, inspired by his love of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the watermelon heads made by Linda Jane's a purely skinful vegan soap. Your aftershave bomb. Four inch, 3.7 ounce Urban Shave Company branded razor. I put a feather in here. Beehive, I believe this is either 22 or 24 millimeter bore. And Derek also offers a stands. Now you can buy these pieces individually. He also does offer some sets. And of course, a new regular in my den. The beard blanket. And I will post links to all of these. So anyway, guys, that's going to finish me up tonight. I'm going to go spend a little bit of time with my girlfriend. i got to go trucking tomorrow. So um, sorry for delays getting stuff done. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and we'll see you again in a few days. You take care. Bye-bye.